to celebrate Mandela Day, we are making one of his favorite desserts, a Malva pudding. Mm. This Clover Sip Up Apricot Malva pudding is sweet and moist and straight from the heart of our kitchen. Now, Jay, welcome back to the show. I'm happy to be back. Malva is probably not only Madiba's favorite dessert. I mean, everyone has had Malva. Everyone has enjoyed it's it. It's a huge South it's, African favourite. It's huge, favorite, right? It's huge. So yeah. we're doing it today in the kitchen in honour of him. Well, Ooh. let's get cooking. Uh, Zolani, on your station here, you've got quite a few ingredients in front of you. Right. What's what? What's Butter? what in the zoo? Hey, <laughs> Sugar. Should What's we say a cream? guessing game? <laughs> cream, yeah. Good, Is it cream? Good, good. So you're going to make the sauce that... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Love that double duck. <laughs> so you're going to be doing the sauce over there and that's going to be poured over the malva once it comes out of the uh, oven and is baked. So you can literally actually just throw all of those. Sauce. You could throw all of those into, into the pan and keep stirring until the butter and the sugar have, have dissolved. And Amazing. that's when you know it's, it's ready. Can I start now? You can go for oh, it. Go. Jay, in your pan, it seems like, did you put water in a there? A little bit of water, yeah. So that's you not want a little bit, man. That's quite it's a lot. Water. Yeah, oh, we've quite got, a bit. We've got quite a bit of cream. So remember, oh. the butter, the cream and the sugar are going to emulsify and start thickening up so you don't want it to burn water is a nice base base for it to 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 prevent it from burning mm -hmm. so there's a method there's a method to my madness you know um and over here Pali, i'm going to start on on the actual cake batter which is so simple so i've creamed my eggs and butter apricot jam in there i've got some bicarb that's going into my my dry ingredients but in here i've got some some oil. oil, oil, you know, oil always makes a cake nice and moist. And uh -huh. then I've got some vinegar, very important with the malva. And of course, we've got um, a, just a pinch of salt going into our, our dry ingredients. And what I'm going to add to replace the milk, I'm using clover sip up and we're using the apricot Ooh. flavor because apricots and malva just Mm. Match made in heaven. Jay, you have mentioned that we are using the clover sip up in this recipe. And I mean, get in on all of the action and take the lead advantage with sip up from clover. It is available from delicious flavors and today we're using apricot. Mm -hmm. And I love that because there are other flavors. This malva pudding is something that is so personal. You know, we were talk talking about in individuality. Yeah. Individuality. Sorry? <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, individually, hey? English! <laughs> Can you even? <laughs> Listen, at what point do you start? Must it yeah. boil? So, so you can let it simmer and then actually reduce oh, okay. the heat. Because remember, you want to bake your malva before you put the syrup on. We're going to bake this in a preheated oven for. Uh, Self sourcing. You're doing like great, so sweetie. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So this is going to go into the oven at 180 <laughs> degrees for 25 to 30 minutes okay. until the skewer comes out smooth and clean. Oh, and then yeah. you're going to pour your sauce on, bang it in the oven for another 5 to 10 minutes, and you're oh, done. Got it. Okay. Now get ready to play your ace. Shake it up, slurp it down, and go. Sip up is a delicious dairy snack. Now open up this bad boy, put that in. Um, Zolani, it seems as if your self-sourcing sauce is definitely <laughs> simmering. And I'm very, very excited to taste this recipe. Get your hands on this recipe. Simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Let's enjoy dessert, girl. I'll go. Oh, he's back. Oh. Clover fresh milk. Made with love by Clover. 